Hello, I am Gary Brantner of Rentnarv Studios Comics, and this is the show where I talk about comic books I've read, Kickstarters that I got them from, or comic shops, and uh, all sorts of other news about comic books that interest me. Rentnarv, Gary Brantner, all that. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to start off with comments that I got on the last episode of YouTube. Um, so the comments are from Charlie Stickney. Charlie Stickney says, some pretty prints on that wall. And uh, so last week I was over on that side of my room and uh, that wall is covered up and down from top to bottom. Yeah, that's right. From top to bottom with prints that I have got from Kickstarters that I've backed. Uh, just random prints. Um, so the ones he was referring to, Charlie Stigney, is, uh, yeah, Charlie Stigney who creates um, White Ash. How I Slept My Way Through College, and The Game, which is currently on Kickstarter. But there's a lot of other awesome prints on that wall also. Um, I'm looking at them right now. Goth Ghost Girl, Miskatonic High, and uh, Destiny New York, Impossible Jones. Yeah, right there. There's a lot of other Marvel and Fathom and Hulk, Spider-Man, Superman. All that fun stuff's up there also. But yeah, it's awesome. Um, thank you, Charlie Stigney, for the comment on those uh, pretty prints and uh, thank you for helping make some of them possible so that's the uh, that's the end of the comments that I got from last week's episode and uh, I'm going to have to apologize for the messy office here um, still October was a pretty busy month and I have not been able to get this office clean it's it's been in disarray since uh, summer because I thought I was gonna move and I didn't and that, I don't know I still haven't got organized birthday season all that craziness but then I'm gonna probably give you the excuse the uh, Christmas and all that fun stuff got in the way too but who knows I gotta get I gotta buckle down and get to it because uh, Peter Pan the Vampire comics need to get made and I can't do that if I don't have a workplace to do it so. Anyway, <clears throat> what have I been watching lately? Uh, I finished up the season of Sprung that I was watching. Sprung is on Amazon, and Sprung is the show about uh, a bunch of inmates that get released on because they had minor sentences and uh, minor charges and stuff like that. So they get released because COVID needed to clear out some jail cells and uh, stuff like that. So these guys get released. They get stuck together, and uh, it was an awesome show. It's from the creators of My Name is Earl and Raising Hope. Really good stuff. you got to check that one out. It was sprung on Emma, Amazon. Emma, em, oh my gosh. Amazon. And uh, yeah, we finished up uh, She-Hulk. Me and the girls watched the end of She-Hulk. I loved it. So glad. I need to watch the uh, making of it episode. They always do that after a season. So yeah, I need to watch that with the girls. Check that out. Weird is coming out tomorrow, so I, oh my gosh, I've been waiting for this movie for so long. So, all that fun stuff. I've currently been watching uh, Star Trek Discovery on Paramount. I get Paramount free with my work, and it's a good thing it's free because I am not happy with Paramount. They are so freaking annoying. I keep getting ads for propositions to vote on in California, and if some of you guys have been listening closely you will know that I'm in Utah so why am I getting ads for propositions to vote on in California when I'm not even near that state anyway enough of that about that so a little bit about me in case you are new to the show I am Gary Brantner of Rent Arm Studios Comics and I make Peter Pan the Vampire comic books which you can read digitally for free by going to IndiePlanet.com and uh, if you follow me on the Twitters I will post a link to every single comic book and Kickstarter that I mentioned in this show. But, yeah, if you're not on, if you're listening from the YouTubes or the Patreons or the Facebook, uh, you will have to go the old way. Go to IndiePlanet.com and search in for Gary Brantner or Peter Pan, and you will find my free, three, three free digital download comics. The, and, uh, yeah. If you like what you're watching, like my show, and want to support me, that is the best way to do it, is go and digi digitally download, download my digital comics, 
and uh, it helps my algorithm, helps me get noticed, and you know what, I want to know what people think, I want people to read my book, and uh, let me know what they think of it, so if you do read it, post it with the hashtag Rentnarb, and uh, even tag me in it if you can, Rentnarb, and uh, yeah, I'd love to know what you think about it, if you really want to make me happy, uh, buy the hard copy from IndiePlanet.com, throw a couple bones my way, and that helps my algorithm also, so do that, yeah, that would be awesome. And uh, I need to get a store running up on the internet, because I got some pins to sell too. Anyway, so yeah, I print my comics through Kablam, so I, I love giving them a shout out whenever I can. And Indie Planet. Indie Planet is the place where you go to uh, pick up my book comics. Here is a print that I made a good while ago. Uh, back and uh, yeah I've been meaning to uh, do something with that throw that in the next book or something all that fun stuff all right so that brings me to mailbox I'm going to switch it up so from now on every episode I am going to do the rent narbs mailbox rent narbs mailbox what did rent narb get in his mailbox I'm going to start doing rent narbs mailbox first before reviews so what did I get in Rentnarb's mailbox? I got a comic called Kadoja Symphony of Madness. I backed this on Kickstarter, and uh, one of the reasons I backed it on Kickstarter is because I listened to a podcast called Making Comics on my phone through Stitcher. And Keith Foster is one of the creators of this, and he is one of the hosts of Making Comics. So it's awesome. I want to support them because I like their show. And, uh, yeah, and they talk about how they make the comics all the time, so I want to see what they talk about come fruition. And it came with the little bonus on it. This is called Death's Immortal Hunter. Not sure what that is yet, but I will definitely read it. But Kadoja, Symphony of Madness. I've got a bunch of other Kadoja books in my uh, read pile already, so that's going to join them. I will have to read that pretty dang soon, but I don't know. I've got a whole long box in my read pile. Or my read pile is a long box. Next up is a comic called Standstill 11 and 12. Standstill 11 and 12. And these are the story, the tale of a pandemic that hits the world. And so imagine 90 to 95% of the world's population suddenly standing still, not moving, not doing anything, not eating, some of them starving to death, or if they had a little paper cut, they'd be even bleed to death right there on the spot because they're just standing there. And all their organs are still working, their blood's still pumping, their stomachs are still digesting, but that can only last for so long. And this is a crazy world. Uh, it shows this guy trying to get his girlfriend that he just proposed to to a safe place to uh, and maybe even find a cure about it because he is an EMT, a doctor or something, so he think, he keeps her alive pretty good. He feeds her through um, a tube and uh, keeps her keeps her going, keeps her healthy, and uh, it's crazy. And I think it's wrapping up soon, so I'm back in it. Can't wait to see where it ends. The Kickstarter just wrapped up on the last few issues. They should be coming my way soon. Man, okay. Also, what I got in the mail is... So I got this issue of Alicia Carter and Robot in the mail. There's all my awesome extras. That's going to be a cool print to add to the wall. And it's got some playing cards, or some collecting cards. Ooh, a sticker is in there as well. I love my stickers. But one thing I noticed on this is when I got it is I'm like, I don't remember ordering the Virgin cover. Well, that's a funny thing because uh, just days later in the mail, I get this in the mail. It says, Dear Backer, due to a mishap in ordering printing, we accidentally shipped printed only virgin covers of Alicia's Bounty. Here is a free supplementary comic with title to apologize for this mistake. And so I got this in the mail. Alicia Carter, number one, with title on it. I love that because when I put them in my log boxes, and I'll thumb through them, if I come across one without a title, it, uh, I'm like, what is this? And that's confusing. So, confusion over? Thanks, uh... 
Oh, shoot. Thanks, uh, Tristan Vick, for uh, correcting that. And um, I don't know if I'm the only one that got corrected on that. Maybe across the board, all the Kickstarters, all the backers got that corrected. But I'm, I'm appreciative of it. And I can't wait to read it. I need to read it soon because there is a Kickstarter for the next issue up right now. And uh, yeah, I better read it and see what I think. And let other people know that they should back it, all that fun stuff. Next up on my list is I got Sex, Spies, and Rock and Roll. There's three different issues in this. And I was looking on... Every time I get one of these books in the mail... <clears throat> sorry. Every time I get a book in the mail from Kickstarter, I go on there and I click the Got It on there. And uh, that way I could keep track. And it didn't show that I even backed this. Uh, so I probably backed it on Indie Planet. Not Indie Planet, Indiegogo. I probably backed this one on Indiegogo. And uh, yeah, so I'll have to go on there and uh, click the uh, Got It. But it came with a crazy amount of prints. Very cool stuff, so got to be careful though. Some of them aren't clean enough to show, and I don't want to mess up my viewership by showing stuff that's not clean. But there were a few of these cards that, I mean, that blew me away, so I'm going to have to show some of them. So that, sh that one, that one's really cool. I love the art style on that one. And there's a few other ones here. Let me see. Just one more. I'll show you one more. Then I like this one a lot. I love the uh, stark contrast between the black and on my end of it, it's colored in red. I'm not sure if that's showing across the screen. And it came with a giant poker chip coin that is it's a little bigger than a quarter, but it's got some heft to it. Uh, it could be a stomper if you play pogs, stuff like that. And it says Sex, Spies, and Rock and Roll. That's the title of the comic book, so yeah. That's pretty cool stuff. Listen to that. Oh yeah. So that's cool. Um, very cool poker chip coin. I'll have to read that one, give you a review of that, tell you what I think. And so that's the end of uh, Rent Narb's mailbox. And now I could get right on into the reviews. What have I read? And uh, I was noticing the Kickstarter for Planer Jane is ending soon so and I had three issues that I needed to read to you so Plain Jane 6, 5, and 4 are here in my hands and oh man there there is some good stuff in this storyline um, let's see it's a little uh, hide-and-seek trying to find the uh, issue numbers on these covers though there's definitely a so what I'm talking about is you can definitely see a 6 right there at the bottom corner of that one. That one's obvious. And, uh... Oh! Right over this guy's shoulder is a sign with a 4 on it, on that side. So that means that one's issue 4. And number 5 here, oh, there's a 5 right above her shoulder right there so yeah these are from broken face and let me start with some credits uh, I think I need to get back in the habit of telling you the credits of these so Planer Jane is written and created by David Wilburn sequential artist is Samir Samal and the front cover artist and colors are Ralph Singh And rear cover artist is Donna A. Black. Logos and letterings are by Tim West. And guest artists on pages 1 and 2 of this issue are from Giuseppe Sabe Di Stefano. So really cool stuff. And um, this one ends with a letter that one of the characters writes. That was interesting. So, and, so this is a... Let me make sure there's a uh, no nudity or bad language on this page. So this is a black and white comic with red occasionally. As you can see here, there's some black and white, and then there's the red when she bloodies a guy's nose. 
And uh, yeah, really cool stuff. They have a thank you page in these comics, and but unfortunately, I think it when you kickstart it, there's an option where you can get the book at a low cost, and uh, then you can also get the book with your name in the thank you section. And I didn't opt in for that one, but I'm loving this story. So Planer Jane is about Planer Jane is about a girl in high school. She goes to a career day thing, and so she's interested in, in, in blood and death, and so somehow she ends up at, uh, interning as a nurse, because they assume that she was into uh, saving people. But really, what's in her heart is that she wants to be a hitman. And so, that's what she decided at career day, is that she wants to be uh, a hired hitman. Someone who kills, ends people's lives for money. All that. So basically what you get with Planer Jane, since she's a high schooler, is if you took Dexter and uh, Kick-Ass and put them together, that's what you'd get, Planer Jane. Really cool stuff. I'm loving the story. You, it's ramping up to a finale, and uh, that's on Kickstarter right now. And man, I can't wait to see how this ends. And um, Planer Jane, really good stuff. Amazing art. I'm loving the art style. It's it's cross between, um, it, it's, I don't know, it's got some John Byrne feel to it with some uh, Frank, oh man, I'm blanking on his name. Anyway, uh, yeah, really, really solid artwork. I'm loving it. They, they do an amazing job of uh, the black and white style with the red in there. Good stuff. So when I talk about the Kickstarters in the campaign corner section, I will definitely push for you to go on to that because it's ending soon and man you got to get on board on that one. So next up on what I've read is a book called Unicorn and here you'll notice Unicorn is spelled with a K. There is a reason for that and I will get to that reason soon but uh, so let me tell you first about how I came across this book. Um, I, I do remember seeing it on Kickstarter uh, a long time ago. I did not back it then. Um, it interested me, but uh, not enough to get me to go go for it. But then uh, I backed a little book called Loot, and this was one of the add-ons, and I'm like, well, I remember seeing it. I'm going to go for it this time. So Unicorn here, it is... Unicorn is created and written by Don Hanfield and Joshua Malkin. And uh, I will talk more about Don Hanfield later because he actually is working on a Kickstarter that I did back again. And it has art by Raphael. Uh, Luriro. I hope that's right. And lettered by DC Hopkins. Colorists are Dijo, Dijo Luma, Daniel De, De Silva. Rodriguez and Nicholas Eli. So yeah, really good stuff. It is a smaller than comic book size. This is actually um, probably manga format, all that. And oh, it had a book plate in it, all signed by the creators and stuff. So that's cool. That's my, I don't think I have any books with book plates in them. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, this is, really good stuff. It is about a girl who uh, who works on a little farm and it, she works on this farm because her mom was a vet there and she takes care of these goats and horses all sorts of stuff and uh, one day the uh, old lady that hires her pays her to come out and feed her goats and horses and ducks and, and chickens and stuff. She dies and she leaves uh, this place to the girl and uh, she makes an, ad ad an addendum where the dad can't sell it. And uh, so she, she's taking care of this horse, and she suspects that this horse used to, be a used to be a unicorn, not a vampire. That's a whole different book. And uh, so, yeah, she, so she goes, goes through the motions. Of, she finds a book from her mom that is a textbook written in code, other languages, all sorts of stuff. And... Uh, so she uses that to uh, 
figure stuff out about this this unicorn and uh, it's really cool stuff love it and uh, it's a really good story I might have let my I'll let my kids read it if they're interested and um, yeah it's a good book I loved it I loved the way they wrapped up the storyline in it and um, there's this guy that it, he's dedicated his life to finding unicorns because um, he drains their blood and it keeps him alive and so really cool uh, really cool twist on unicorns and um, loved the way this was told so glad I backed it or so so glad I added it on to the backing of loot and um, all that fun stuff so yes really awesome book the next up is called thirsty and I don't think I can show you any pages in this because uh, oh here's some here's a thirsty print from uh, Connor Hughes artist of no maybe that wasn't Connor Hughes uh, anyway here's a print from advertising the uh, kickstart of cheeky that's cool I should put that one up on the print on the wall and here is a bookmark print looking thing I'll probably throw that up on the wall so cheeky cheeky is a sexy little book from Pat Shand creator of Destiny New York New York and yeah, oh yeah, there are some pages I can show you. Good artwork. Um, this is an anthology style. Multiple artists in this. And multiple creators, writers. All that fun stuff. Um, written by Pat Shand and Amy Shand. Lettered by Jim Campbell. Edited by Shannon Lee. And created by Pat Shand and Amy Shand. So a lot of different illustrators in this. Ooh, yep. And a lot of pages I cannot show you. Nope, oh, I can't even show you that one. Alright, here's a good page I can show you though. Yeah, so a lot of good art. It's all grayscale, black and white coloring. And um, I, I really enjoyed it. Had a great time uh, reading this one. Uh, unfortunately, I think... I'm not sure when, but... One of the times I, I read my comics when I'm at Plasma and uh, don't eat Plasma. They stick the needle in me and I have a lot of time. I have 50 minutes to, to read. And I think this one might have been the one that got me in trouble. Or it was uh, Sweet Paprika. I don't know. One of the comics got me in trouble because they're like, uh, someone looked over my shoulder and I got pulled into the office on one of my visits and they told me that I was uh, looking at porn. And so, eh, scary stuff. Hope it wasn't this one. We'll see. Um, but yeah. Oh, and then there's an awesome page that highlights all the creators and tells a little about them. So that's cool. And a giant thank you page, which I know my name, Gary Brantner of Rent Arm Studios Comics, is in there in the G section. So I'm happy about that. Love it. So, Thirsty. Good stuff. And uh, currently, Pat Shand is doing a Kickstarter for MMMMA. Uh, it is a magic martial art, mixed martial arts fighting. And um, I will tell you more about that during the, uh, oh, what's it called? During my campaign corner. I can't even remember my own shows. Anyway, so yeah, when I get to, um, when I get to that, I will tell you more about that but yeah MMA and um, so there's a connection to that and also I'm I read a comic called Metal Shark Bro because there's a connection to uh, the MMA through Metal Shark Bro also so Metal Shark Bro is a comic I picked up at Scout Comics um, Scout Comics had this uh, promotion going where you could pick up a box of battle damaged comics and uh, basically these are some comics that have seen some wear this got a slight fold right right down that side of it and uh, so I guess that was considered battle damage which you know I'm fine I love it it'll uh, eventually being in my long box long enough might straighten it out we'll see um, so Metal Shark Bro oh my gosh that is a wicked cover Metal Shark Bro is created by Bob France 
Kevin Cuff and Walter Ostley. And Walt artist is Walter Ostley. Writers Bob France and Kevin Cuff. Or is that Koof? It's C U F F E. But I'm going to say Cuff. And lettered by Chaz Pan Pangburn. And variant covers are Jake Smith and Brian Silverback. Oh, I've heard that name before. So, yeah, and this is a Scout comic. Obviously, from the battle damage that I got. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty much what it is. So there, there's this guy. He sold his soul to... To the devil. And he's out. He's out with his friends. And he... he just drinking and being stupid. And uh, one of his friends goes to high-five him. Smacks him in the nose and gives him a bloody nose. And he falls overboard on a yacht. And, uh... While he's overboard, since he has a bloody nose, this shark goes up and eats him. And then this demon shows up. And the demon's like, Hey, silly shark, you just ate someone who owes me his soul. And so since you, since you ate this guy, you are going to have to do the job that he was going to have to do. And so he, he mixes the two. He turns the shark into a dude. And uh, makes him go and kill and reap all the souls that the one guy was supposed to get. So it's an interesting story. And uh, wow, I can't wait to get more. I'm going to have to go to uh, Scout Comics and order the trades. Because Metal Sharp Row, huh, some funny stuff. And uh, yeah, it's in the lines of Hellboy and things like that. So check out Metal Shark Bro. And... Uh, Oh yeah, and the creators of Metal Shark Bro are working on a book called Get Lich or Die Trying, and which I instantly backed after reading this because, oh my gosh. So check out, when I, when I get to the campaign corner, I will talk about Get Lich or Die Trying. Really good, awesome stuff there. But next up is a comic that just barely hit Kickstarter. It is called Starlight. And Starlight, oh my gosh, these guys sent me a pack. So I've got Starlight. This is Starlight number four. And I've got four different covers to Starlight. So check out Starlight here. And yeah. And Starlight. So I do this thing where um, if I have multiple copies of a comic, I, I throw them into a box of random comics to uh, sell at Comic Cons and stuff like that. So that's where uh, my extra three are going to end up. But this one right here, this is my favorite cover. This one right here with uh, a multitude of weird spider aliens about to eat this Sarah girl. Good stuff. So, oh yeah, and I got some prints. That print will go up on the wall for sure. Starlight. So, what can I tell you about Starlight? First off, let's do some credits on Starlight here. Oh, hey, I even got a sign. I, I need to check all the books. This one is signed. Hmm, that's crazy. Nope, that's the only one that's signed. Interesting, so the one I wanted to keep is the one that is signed. How cool is that? So, Starlight, issue four, Swinging on a Star, is written by Travis Webb and Greg Smith, art by Brett Weldell, Weldell, and lettered by Tom Orzanchowski. That sounds right. Edited by David Mayer. Cover C is by Peko Peko Akuma. Cover B is by Ron Randall. And cover D is by Mary Tor Zoralita Bellamy. So, Good stuff. Um, so, what happens in Starlight 4 here? Starlight 4... So, Starlight, first off, is a comic about a brother and sister, and uh, they were both they were both superheroes when they were younger. And uh, since they got older, they kind of fell out of the limelight. I think the brother actually lost his powers. And Sarah keeps her powers, but her powers only work when she's high, and she's a raver. So, yeah, her powers only work when she high, she's high, and I, 
get the feeling that she's high a lot. But anyway, the point, so what's going on is in this is, um, so she's got this, this power in her. And uh, these, these aliens kidnap her and they kidnap the reporter who'd, disco who'd figured out who they are. He goes, he goes to their porch and he's about to do an expose on them. And then these weird uh, cat-like aliens, they're cat-like, but I don't know if they're furry, they kidnap them. And t they, so then they end up in outer space, and she had a, a little bit of her ecstasy uh, on a binky that she's always sucking on. And so she gets a little high enough to uh, melt the restraints and get out of the thing that the aliens are keeping her in. And so they're, they're escaping, and uh, that's where all these alien spider things come in. And so these alien spiders, they're... They're running down the hall, and uh, next thing they know, those cat aliens are also running down the hall. And they're like, they're like, oh, we need to go, we need to, the reporter says, we need to follow the cats. And they're like, why? And he says, well, if they're running from something, must be something coming that we can't handle either. So they all run and end up in the same room. And uh, thanks to some bracelets that the aliens are wearing, they translators. They can speak the same language and talk, but yeah, really cool stuff. Uh, and so she, she used the last bit of her drugs to uh, kill the spiders and stuff. And uh, we find out why the aliens kidnapped her, but I'm gonna keep that between me because you guys can read that to find that one out. But yeah, really good stuff. These crazy spiders, they're, they're awesome. And I love the artwork. Wow, that one's coming right off the page too, isn't it? I, I love the artwork. The panels aren't, they draw the panels without borders, so that's kind of cool. I like that touch. It makes an interesting, it, it makes the comic unique. So that's really cool. Um, yeah, and then, yeah, they've got a thank you page all, as well. And there I am at the bottom of that page. Ooh, I don't know if it's focusing enough, but yeah, it says Gary Brantner of Renard Studios Comics. Right there, I'm like the second to the last. So that's cool. And, um, really can't wait. Wow, they've got three pages of thank yous, too. A lot of people back this one. Good stuff, and I like that little extra thing. That should be a sticker right there. That's cool. Or a pin. Yeah, if you make that little blue one a pin, that would be awesome. Speaking of, there is a pin on the, uh, on this Kickstarter right now of Sarah in, with her little, uh, cat ear thing that she wears. And, uh... I've got a lot of Kickstarters that are all ending on that same day. And so if I have enough money on right before the campaign ends, I will go on there and I will hurry and add that pin as an add-on. Because I, I love pins. I'm crazy about pins. But right now, money is tight because we just went through birthday season. But we'll see. Um, yeah, so good stuff. Awesome stuff. Let's see here. Right now. Now I can jump into the campaign corner. This is the section of the show where I talk about everything that's on Kickstarter that I'm backing and things that are on Indiegogo, which, as you know, uh, I've only backed about five things on Indiegogo. And I've backed 350-somethings on Kickstarter, so <clears throat> I'm a little biased on that. It's just because one's easier. They email you and say, hey, so-and-so backed this on Kickstarter, you might like this. So it's a lot easier to discover things on Kickstarter. That's the only reason, really. Alright, so, what is on Kickstarter right now? Reyna, the Bastard Queen, 1 and 2 are on Kickstarter right now. I'm backing 1 and 2 because I'm new to the series. So I, I, I backed number 2 and did the number 1 add-on. It is a 24-page comic book. 24 pages of Reyna's Quest for Vengeance takes her down a dark new path. It looks awesome. So it's kind of like, a, it's got a Conan the Vibrarian vibe to it. It's a, it's a different realm a, and kind of ancient civilization thing. And she's going around killing a bunch of monsters and stuff. So Reyna, the Bastard Queen, one and two is on Kickstarter right now till November 5th. That's really soon. It is 236 complete funded. So check that one out, back it. Join in on the fun. Planer Jane, number seven, is on Kickstarter right now. 
a modern day story of murder, the final issue of Planer Jane. Oh man, so it is wrapping up. I'm so excited. I can't wait. The final issue of Planer Jane, the story of a seemingly ordinary girl who becomes a brutally efficient killer for hire. It is black and white and red. The Each issue is 24 to 28 pages long. It just gives give or take how many they need to tell the story. You know, there's no uh, hard line to it. It is 435% complete, or 30, 435% funded on Kickstarter right now until November 6th. Mad Cloud Comics, the collective batch, number one, is on Kickstarter right now. This is the premiere of our serialized issues. The first issue of Feast, Kata's Honor, Bahati, and our first collective magazine, Mad Fables, is on Kickstarter right now. These guys emailed me, and, uh, you know, because I'm... Sorry. I'm always telling you guys to it, email me, let me know about your Kickstarters and that. Also, as a side note, because, uh, yeah, on Twitter they have a message section, and... I don't get those notifications, so I will find them every once in a while. I'm like, oh, I should check those notifications. And I look in there and find out a Kickstarter has been on there since July. But by then, the Kickstarter is well and over. Anyway, if you email me, say, hey, check out my Kickstarter for your show. Because that's what these guys did. And uh, so, yeah, I checked out Mad Cloud Comics, the collective batch, number one. Um, so, that, yeah, they've got one, two, three, four. They've got four different things coming out right now and you should check them out on Kickstarter right now. They're only 79% funded and it's going till November 7th so they could use all the help you can get any help that you want uh, go check them out check out their four different books and uh, see if they interest you in stuff like that uh, I didn't see a whole lot of um, preview pages to check out so uh, I'm not sure on that one where I'm standing so check out World Mad Cloud Comics on Kickstarter right now till November 7th. Worlds Away 1 and 2 are on Kickstarter right now. Equipped with high-tech armor and weapons, a soldier and her daughter fight to escape the clutches of a deadly alien sorceress. It is $14 on Kickstarter for the next issue. You can get 1 and 2. Uh, get number 1 as an add-on. It is 102% funded right now. And uh, Worlds Away, number one and two, are on Kickstarter until November 11th. The game, one through three, is on Kickstarter right now. In the game of life, no one has been keeping score. Until now, from the creators of White Ash and Glarian, 48 pages of awesomeness. Um, drawn by Connor Hughes, written by Charlie Stickney. I mean, what more can you want? Those are some awesome stuff. Uh, do do check that out. You could probably add on any of their other comics, White Ash and Glarian, and all sorts of fun stuff. 327% funded right now. And it's also a project we love. I don't know if I noticed that on any of the others. So yeah, it's it's been not given the heart of uh, Kickstarter as a project they love. So the game, one through three, on Kickstarter right now until November 16th, my birthday! So check it out, the game, one through three on Kickstarter. Lost Boy. Lost Boy, how a hand became a hook and a P-tier became a pan. So P-tier is the old London slang for a pickpocket. So I'm loving this angle of Peter Pan. Set in London in 1700s, a time before police, when public safety relied on thief takers. Tomathan survives as a Peter, a thief who steals bags off of moving carriages. This is 28 pages long, and uh, it is from the creator of Unicorn, which I just read, so that's an awesome thing. And uh, 28 pages of awesomeness. Unfortunately, this is only 75% funded, so if I'm going to get my copy, you need to back it so that I could get my copy. It is a project we love on Kickstarter right now. They gave them the, the uh, Kickstarter heart of approval. So check out Lost Boy. Please, go check it out before November 18th. 
MMMA, Mixed Magical Martial Arts. This is from Pat Shand and uh, Space Between Entertainment. A thrilling fantasy sports comedy graphic novel about Bailey, an MMMA fighter who joins an underground fight club of magic users. Add-ons include Destiny New York, Prison Witch, Thirsty and Cheeky, Vampire Emmy and the Garbage Girl, 60 pages in this graphic novel. That's awesome. It is 166% funded. Kickstarter also gave this a project we love heart. So check out MMMA Mixed Magical Martial Arts on Kickstarter until November 18th. And be warned, this is going to be a sexy comic, so don't buy it for your kids. But if you're into that kind of thing, romance and fighting, so Fight Club, stuff like that, Back this comic. Okay, well, technical difficulties. Get Lich or Die Trying, number one, is on Kickstarter right now. These are from the Metal Shark Bro creators. A comedy action adventure steeped in role playing game lore. Brought to you by the writers of Ringo Award winning Metal Shark Bro. 40 pages of awesomeness. This is issue one of a four issue series. So you could do that. You could even add on Metal Shark Bro on this one. Um, oh, maybe instead of going to, um, ah, what is that, Scout Comics and ordering Metal Shark Bro, I'm going to go on here and add Volumes 1 and 2 to my thing. They are 94% funded, so yeah, I'm pretty sure if I go on there and add two volumes of a graphic novel on there, that'll help them out a lot. It's a project they love on Kickstarter, so check out Get Lich or Die Trying Number 1 on Kickstarter until November 25th. Vampire Detective in Space 1 through 3 is a vampire detective in space. <laughs> it's, a, it's there. The pitch is in the title. He solves mysteries with the help of his snarky AI companion. 28 pa 24 pages of awesomeness. And I always back I always add on the stickers because I love stickers. I love uh, I mark I mark the tops. Oh my gosh of my long boxes with stickers. Check this out. And, uh, yeah. You can't beat that. Hold on. I gotta pick up these comics I just dropped. So, check out A Vampire Detective in Space 1 through 3. Get some stickers added to your uh, rewards. It is 77% funded. 77? Love that number. That's my favorite number. Vampire Detective in Space is on Kickstarter until November. 27th. Death Tally 1 through 3 is on Kickstarter right now. She accidentally killed the Reaper. Now she must replace it. The story continues further into the world of the Reaper. 22 pages of awesomeness and uh, it is 67% funded. So help Death Tally out by going on there, backing it. Death Tally 1 through 3 on Kickstarter until November 27th. Starlight, number five. That's one of the comics I just reviewed. It's like, what if Power Pack grew up, went back to being normal kids, and then were trapped in a, by trans-dimensional space wizards? And yeah, I, I think I'm going to go on there and add that Sarah pin. Because, yeah, I love it. And I, I love pins. Love wearing them in my tie. That's why I touch my chest whenever I think about pins. So, written by the uh, co-creator of The Surrogates that got turned into a Bruce Willis movie. So check out Starlight, number 5, on Kickstarter right now. 88% funded, so please help it out. I need to get on there and get that pin. It, Starlight, number 5, is on Kickstarter until November 27th. Jin Hunter, number 1, the trade paperback, is on Kickstarter right now. The Cosmos are in chaos. Zara Jin, Zara the Jin Hunter hunts down the Mad Jin. 112 pages of awesomeness. Uh, I checked out the preview on there. They have some preview pages on the Kickstarter. The story and art looked amazing, so I jumped in as quick as I could. The Council of Jin must stop a rogue member, Abyss, and his minions from granting wishes to mortals that are resulting in untold horrors. The solution is an early prison release for Zara, the Jin Hunter. 
And she has a phoenix named Benyu tagging along as her parole officer. So Jin Hunter, trade paperback, is on Kickstarter right now. 87% funded, and it ends on November 27th. So check out Jin Hunter on Kickstarter. Alicia Carter and Robot 2 is on Kickstarter right now. So yeah, I better read that copy I just got. An action comedy series that follows the space adventures of a crafty thief and her robot sidekick. 28 pages. All right, I like that. So, 28 pages on Kickstarter right now, but um, the shipping on that is $10. So it's $25 after shipping to get the book. I'll have to look into it, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to back it. Alicia Carter and Robot 2 is on Kickstarter right now. 179% funded, so there must be something there that's drawing people in. Alicia Carter and Robot 2 on Kickstarter till December 2nd. <clears throat> Memoirs of the Reanimator figure, first issue, and a radio drama all in the same Kickstarter. Follow Dr. Herbert West on his macabre adventures as his experiments cause utter chaos wherever he goes, beginning in Arkham, Massachusetts. Add-ons include Lovecraft Detective, uh, Lovecraft P.I., Berserkers, Solo Island, and Badges and Coins. A lot of cool stuff, a lot of books that I've already read and are awesome. It, trust me, you want to back, you want to get Lovecraft P.I. and Berserker Solo Island as add-ons onto this because those are awesome books. Um, Memoirs of the Reanimator is on Kickstarter right now at 136% funded till December 4th. And that's the end of my Kickstarter news. So tell me about your campaigns, send me an email to peterpanthevampire at yahoo.com and say, hey, make sure you do say, uh, love your sh mention that you like the show or something, that way I know where this email is coming from, don't just think it's spam. So yeah, let me know that you like my show and uh, let me know that you want me to check out your Kickstarter because I, I will check out your Kickstarter, there's a lot of these that I've backed because people have sent me emails. So. Send me an email. You can even tag your Kickstarter on my Twitter in the same feed that I tag all the Kickstarters that I mention. Um, I don't mind, and that will definitely get me to check it out and share it. I will retweet anything that you tag me in that's clean. Um, so yeah, let me know. Tell me about your Kickstarters. Tell me about your Indiegogos. Even if it's on Etsy, tell me about it because I want to know about new comics that are slipping through the cracks. That's what that's what I make this show for. That's why I do this because yeah, I don't want comics to slip through the cracks. I want to find stuff, really cool stuff to read and that's what you guys are where you, where you guys are coming in. Let me know about the cool stuff that I need to know about so that I can read it. Um, speaking of things you need to know about, I have a Patreon page and I'll admit I have no subscribers as of right now. And uh I've had this Patreon for a good while now. That's what I'm using it for is I'm posting these videos on there. And everybody who backs me on Patreon will get a shout out where I will print out a card with your name on it and your socials that you want me to share. And I will say, hey, thank you, Gary Brantner. That's an example because I'm Gary Brantner. Thank you, Gary Brantner at Rentnarb on Twitter and Rentnarb Studios Comics on Facebook. Thank you for following me on Patreon. And that's pretty much that. So yeah, if you want a shout out on the show every episode, follow me on the Patreons and back me, help me. Support this thing, throw a bone my way or so. And uh, that's all I've got for you today. Thank you for watching and um, let me know what you think of the show. That's it. Oh yeah.